I touch that five for you I do that three, four times again I testify for you I told I like you, that bitch I do it All that I'm around, you scared to do I'm not, as long as you joking Now it's for me, I ain't got it Pop is Welcome back, it's Paige Milan. If you've been here, and if you're new here, if you want to join the party, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't hit that subscribe button, all right, so I'm about to go get ready to meet up with my girl, Caitlin. We are going to go to Black Lightning Golf at the American Dream Mall. We are going to go to Tango Steak. Uh, it's a steakhouse. It's kind of really close. It's like five minutes from the mall. And then after that, we're going to go to the pool hall. And then the next day, I have a brunch at the garden. Uh, with my girl Tanasia. It's like a party brunch. They got like a DJ and all that. So it's gonna be lit. And then um at some point I do wanna do a like artwork for either over my bed or my den area, like my music um room. So yeah, we'll see what we get into, but yeah, just come with me. If you want more, more, then here I am. Okay. All right. I know, right? Her her hands and her toes are all glowing. Come on, hurry up. Hey. All right, so we just got out of the Black Light Golf. This is the score. I got 51 and she got 58. So I won. All right, we're about to go to Tango Steak for dinner. Uh, we did not make any reservations, but hopefully we can make it. I got the serving serve for Le Mignon with shrimp and potatoes with asparagus. So I'm going to show it to y'all. But yeah, we're on our way to the pool hall. We got to surprise our friends. <laughs> And they don't even know us, so we better go pull up on them. So, yeah, I'm gonna check back in with y'all at the pool hall. We made it to the pool hall. I'm on my sister, y'all. We are gonna play some pool tonight. I'm at my third location. Can y'all believe that? Like, my grandma behind. I'm at my third spot for the night, and I gotta wake up in the morning for brunch. So, you know, I'm outside. After my trip to Canada, I was like, I'm coming outside.
Go ahead. back in the house i'm really tired so i'm gonna check back in with y'all in the morning i think tomorrow i'm going to brunch with my girl and i think i want to do i want to paint like an art piece like a textured um art piece so i don't know we'll see if i if i get into that but i know i'm definitely doing brunch in the morning so i'm gonna check back in with y'all tomorrow Good morning, it's the next day. So today the plan is gonna be to go to this like party brunch at this place called The Garden with my girl Tanasia. But first I'm waiting for her cause she's busy right now. So I'm actually going to write my cousin back. Y'all, my cousin is locked up. I can't get into it obviously, but he's been locked up for a few months now and it's very upsetting to me. We, we're the same exact age. We grew up together like that's like my cousin, like that's my best cousin, my favorite cousin. like. We always been mad close so it's like really hard for me to go through all this but obviously it's even harder for him being inside of there but we've been writing back and forth and i'm gonna be able to come and visit him soon very soon he told me so um but yeah so these are some of the letters i can't even show y'all but like it's mad letters or whatever i'm gonna just write him back since i'm waiting for her so i have this journal and it has really like uh, motivational quotes in it so i'm gonna just write him and then i'm gonna go mail it on Cause they mad nice in here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, look what my good sis got. Look at this drink. I mean, it's not even, I don't even know what it is. It got a straw. A gelato. It's a Dominican drink. Look. Look. Pound Town, just left Pound Town. There's my nigga, he just took a bitch down. All right, good night. I'm about to take it down. I'm just watching a movie right now. I'm watching Black Dynamite. And then I'm about to head out. So I find some good price ones. I'm gonna get the Artist Vlog um, brand of three pack. It's for twenty dollars. So I'm gonna get that, and then I'm gonna find some. I need some spackle. 
right, so I found some plaster to put onto the canvas. I'm very indecisive and I'm really, really working on that. But at first I was gonna do a texture wall art, but now I saw this really, really cute um, like art piece online. It was like a three piece set and you like line them up and it looks really pretty and it had like beige, black, gray in it. Um, so I went back to Michael's and bought those colors cause I have the inspiration picture. I'm gonna show y'all. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do it like that. All right, so this is my little setup. This is the three um, pieces. This is the paint that I just bought. I got some gray, black, white, and beige. I'm gonna mix the white with the beige to make a lighter um, beige too. So yeah, let's see how it comes out. I got my water, so I'm ready to go. what you're eating because I'm vlogging okay what I'm eating I'm like oh dang I'm eating really unhealthy or oh dang I'm dressing real crazy like let me go shopping or oh um maybe I'm not treating people as good as I should be treating them let me fix that you get what I'm saying like I am really trying to be more self-aware and I feel like that's the key self-awareness and confidence is everything and self-love we can't forget about the self-love right you need to love yourself a lot because guess what in life can be 
real funny. It's up to us. We need to be our own support team. We cannot be keep looking for somebody to come save us because guess what? Nobody is coming to save you. Only person coming to save you is your higher power. For me, it's God. That's the only one coming to save you. But even with that, you still got to do your work. And he will meet you halfway, I feel. You know? You have to be putting in effort. You can't be like, oh, God, please help me. Please help me get off of, um, get off of drugs. Are you shooting up every day? Are you trying? Are you trying to get off of the drugs? You know what I mean? Or whatever it is that you struggle with. Are you trying? Um, trust me, I've been through a lot. Um, everything. Addiction, everything. And I got help for that. I got help because I wanted to get off of it. So I got help. You know, we need to take accountability sometimes. And even I saw a post the other day, right? And it said with healing, we play a role in our own healing. And I know for a very, very long time, I hurt somebody very, very badly. And after that, I felt like I don't deserve love. I don't deserve it because I hurt this person so bad, right? And I, I kept that mindset, I don't deserve it, I don't deserve it, da, 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 right? And even the person didn't think I, I didn't deserve love, right? And I kept that attitude, and I was holding myself back from so many different things. You get what I'm saying? It's so crazy. Like, you have to show yourself love. Let go of that guilt and that hurt and that baggage because it's going to hurt you every time. You're going to feel like you have no confidence. You know what I mean? You don't deserve this. You don't deserve that. And, honey, you deserve the world, okay? The world. If you don't feel like you're worthy of things, you're not going to get it. If you feel like, oh, my God, those girls are so cool. I can't hang with them. I'm just, you know, this little old girl. I don't even have as much money as them. How could I even be up to par? It's not even about that. You need to have confidence. You need to know that you are worthy. You are worthy of high-class experiences. You know, you are. You really are. Um, and keep elevating. Keep growing, you know. Never hold yourself back and never let anybody tell you or make you believe that you can't do anything because you can. Like, for example, with the vlogging, right? I watched so many vlogs for years, and I was always so camera shy. I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm so camera shy. I'm so awkward. Oh, my God. Blah, blah. But I was getting in my own way because I didn't feel like I could do that. And look how many years went by. I'm just now starting in 2023. I've been wanting to start vlogging for years ago. But guess when I started now? In 2023. But I can't be mad at myself. Look, we all come to things on our own, but I'm so glad that I finally believe that I deserve certain things. And I'm going to get every single thing that I that I didn't think that I can get. Or that people didn't think that I can get. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it all. And I and people are still watching and I can't wait to show you, hey look I got it. And it's not even only for them. It's really more so for me. You know, all of this is for me. People, whoever can watch, you know, my journey, whatever, this is really for me. And I know these vlogs right now is getting like 100 views and I don't really care. This is really for me. This is for my self-awareness and that's really why I'm doing it. Hopefully they grow, and if not, that's fine. At least I got a really good experience of trying to grow, you know, and continuing to grow and being self-aware so that I can be the best version of myself, for myself, to show up for myself every single day. That's all I can, I can ask for. Just make sure that you always forgive yourself, um, give yourself grace, because your higher power already forgave you. Um, especially if you're working towards just, just, getting away from that person that you used to be, that bad person or that bad, um, because I don't think anybody's really, well, yeah, that's kind of bad. <laughs> but yeah, like don't, just because you were one way before does not mean that that is your story for the rest of your life. You can change anytime you want to. Any day, every day is a fresh start. If you open your eyes, every day is a fresh start to go ahead and change. If something is bothering you that you do and you really want to change it, go ahead and take that change. That chance and go change it. All right, so I have the brown, or like the beigeous, lightest brown, and I have a sponge. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna dab some pieces, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, look at this. And also, do what you love. Like, okay, painting is very therapeutic for me, so like, I'm doing that, you know? this is. Hopefully it comes out cute, but I want it to go over my bed because it's very um, plain right there. And whatever it is that you want to do, do it. If it makes you happy, if it puts a smile on your face, do it. If that job that you're working at is bothering you and you feel like it's affecting your mental health, quit. Get a different 
second job that you like much better. Or try to, if you're a creative, try to get a, a job in the creative market, you know? I feel like that will make you help happier. I feel like a lot of times we're living for other people sometimes, you know, maybe our parents or our grandparents or whoever it is that wants you to do a certain thing, but you have to be happy for yourself and be your own self. Like, you cannot be who someone wants you to be, you know, because you're going to resent yourself. You're going to resent that person for trying to get you to change, and you're going to resent yourself for, like, trying to be some other person that you're not, you know? Okay, now I'm going to go in with the silver gray with the smudge. And dab a few pieces here. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Like, y'all. And so cheap. Like, the paint was like $5. And the lady gave me like a $5 um, coupon. Just being super friendly. I was like, wow, thank you, ma'am. Like, the board, the three boards was like three for 20 so that's only 20. Like, what is this cost to be like? Um, 40, $40, maybe 45. I don't know the exact total, but it's not even that much money. And for three pieces, that's a great price. And hey, look, what if I like sell them? What if I sell them? That would be cool, right? And now at this point, I'm just ranting, but like life is just a journey and we need to be so patient with ourselves because um, a lot of times we look at people on social media. I know y'all all on social media. Because first of all, it's, I guess YouTube is social media, right? right? Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we sometimes we're watching people and be like, oh, I should have been here by now. And I'm at this age. And these people is at this point in their life. And why am I I'm not? And maybe there's certain lessons that we need to learn in that point of time that we haven't learned yet. And maybe that's not, maybe that is why we are not at that certain level yet. Or maybe our life is just not supposed to go that way. And that's fine too. Like we have to really kind of go with the flow. Like obviously plan and do what you need to do, but we need to just be able to go with the flow as well. Cause life is not always gonna go as planned, you know? Most of the time it doesn't. And that's okay. Cause I had a whole other plan for my life. And honestly, I fell into a depression because I thought I was a failure. I thought that I failed at life because my life did not go a certain way and I became depressed and I got into a very deep depression and then I got into a rut and then all of these things happened and then I did not deal with my problems the way that I should have dealt with them. Um, I dealt with them in a very unhealthy way, self-medicated and obviously you know that's very bad and all of those problems just kept arising each and every time I was triggered. So you know um, I'm still on my healing journey and it's beautiful. It really is beautiful and I'm kind of seeing the beauty in life more now because I was just so impatient. I really don't have that much patience and I'm still working on that. But you know, life is beautiful and it's a journey and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy to be alive. I mean, there was honestly a time where I didn't really care if I lived or died because I was like, well, I don't care. Like, you know, I'm not really doing too much on this earth anyway, so you know, but you can't look at it like that. You really can't look at it like that because you are important in this world. You are. You are, and you need to know that. You always need to know that and remember that. Um, remember that you mean a lot to people. You do. You know, sometimes we're our own worst enemy, and we're a critic to ourselves, and it's so bad. It is so bad. We will sit there and beat ourselves up all the time. And why? Why? Why are we doing this? We're hurting ourselves. You know that, right? Like, it's so bad. And I did this for so many years, and it's just like, come on now. Let's do better. Let's let's do better. And it's hard, you know. It's hard when you're used to certain really bad habits. It's kind of hard to break out of it. But you gotta stop it. At some point, you gotta be like, look, I've had enough. I need to break out of this. You know what I mean? So it's really just about being good to yourself, you know, and being kind to yourself and forgiving yourself for being so hard on yourself, you know. And just be very very careful with the enemy trying to trick you and make you believe all of these bad things about yourself that aren't true. He'll play on your weaknesses and your downfalls, so make sure that you forgive yourself and all that stuff so that you can be strong, so that when he comes into attack, you got your shield on and you're not going for none of that. Because if you're weak, he will get into your head and make you believe, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm ugly. I'm not worthy of love. I, 
I am that same person and I'm going to stay that same person. No, you can change at any moment. And just try to be strong. I know it's hard because I've been there. I'm still there. I'm still, I'm still struggling daily. Daily, I have to tell myself, you are worth it. You deserve it. This and that. Because guess what? He comes in and sometimes he tries to tell us all these crazy things. But we can't fall for it and we can't go for that. Because we're better than that. And we know we are worth it and we are deserving of love and we are. You know what I mean? So just try to keep your mind right because it's just really hard out there, you know, now with everything going on and trying to make sure that you keep up with all these things and, you know, you don't have to do all of that. Just be you, do you, do whatever makes you happy. Don't watch what nobody else is doing. Focus on yourself. Remember there was a time, remember before, think about before social media, right? Like we were all happy, like we're all depressed now. Why is that? Hello? Like, you know what I mean? Like they want you to be depressed so that you go out and buy more stuff so that you, they want you to feel ugly. And so they are preying on our insecurities. You get what I'm saying? Like just make sure you pay attention to what's going on. They're preying on our insecurities. And happiness, I feel like we are all trying to find happiness, right? Like, isn't that the, the point of life? Like love and happiness, right? So just make sure that you, you find your own happiness, you know? Uh, you don't always have to do what everybody else is doing. Find your own happiness. Right now I'm painting. Like, that's what's bringing me joy right now, is to paint the artwork. And it's very therapeutic for me, and that's what I choose to do. I also want to say that just because you didn't accomplish your goal yet, or in the time period that you thought it was, doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't. You were still worthy and you were still amazing. You just didn't accomplish your goal yet. Do not base your life around, I'm a failure because I didn't accomplish that. Because you won in so many other ways. I used to think that about myself. I'm a failure. I was supposed to be a music artist. I was supposed to be had my Grammy. I was supposed to, you know, but I was doing music for 15 years already. Like everybody I knew knew me as being a music artist. Like everybody just knew I was gonna blow up. And I didn't. Yet. Let me say yet. Um, and maybe I never will. But hopefully I will. But maybe I never will. And I have to be okay with that. I have to be okay with that. Or else guess what? My life will be ruined. Because I will be keep thinking that I'm a failure. You know what I mean? And I have to come to terms with this. And I'm like, well, I've won in so many other ways. I feel like I have favor with God. God has always protected me. Always, always, always. Like, even if, you know, I'm running late for something, right? And... I was supposed to leave at this time, but I left later. And then it was just an accident right in front of me. If I had left a few seconds later, God forbid that could have been me. You know what I mean? I feel like God always protects me or, you know, there's been so many times when I almost got into an accident or almost this and almost that. And within seconds, I got saved. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just, I don't know. I really, really am blessed. I'm blessed. I have a, a beautiful, loving family that loves me, that loves each other. That's. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. You know, I, I have to be grateful for what I do have. And what helps what helps me and what I suggest to anybody that, that feels like um, they're not happy, write down what you are grateful for. And journal. Even just, just journal. Write down what you're grateful for. And sometimes just write and write. Just take a journal. Go, go get a journal and just write. Write all of your feelings down. Right, you know, today I feel like this, and today I feel like that, and why is this, and you'll, and then read it back. And you'll become more self-aware, you know, of what's going on, and then you can be able to be like, okay, well, let me take responsibility for this and this and this, because, you know, I am tripping, or whatever it is. And some things are out of your control, and that's co completely fine as well. Um, but we need to be okay with things that are out of our control as well, because a lot of the time, sometimes we try to uh, control situations that we can't control. You know, I'm a, I'm a big, I used to do that a lot, and now I'm kind of like, going with the flow is kind of everything. My room is like gray. Um, I already have a wall art that's like black and white, so I incorporated some black in it so that it can go together. And I don't know, I really don't know what else to do. I'm gonna put some more white in it though. Some white spots, like darken those up. Well, lighten those up. Yeah, I know I just 
heavy on my mind, and I'm like, you know what? I feel like if I feel this way, I know I'm not the only person that feels this way. You know what I mean? So let me speak up. Because sometimes, you know, um, we're all kind of just own um, frameworks to kind of like put out this perfect, perfect life. Like, see, this girl, my cousin, bro, my cousin just said to me, last week, we was on vacation together. She just said to me, um, we, her and her sister always envy my life or our life. Like, they always wanted to, um, you know, they always, they never wanted to leave our house. Like, like we had the perfect life, which is crazy because actually she's not the first person that told me that. Like, a lot of people think I have the perfect life. And guess what? Nobody has the perfect life. You know, I go through my own stuff. I just opened up to y'all about all this stuff just now. Um, and she had no idea about that, you know? So it's like, that's why I'm saying, just always focus on yourself um, and to do better, you know? Sometimes, yeah, it would be nice to have certain things. I thought, oh, yeah, it would be nice. If I had a million dollars right now, hell yeah, it would be very nice. Um, but that's not where I'm at right now in life. And that's okay. That really is okay. Like, you have to be okay with that, you know? Look at other people and be like, that is so good for you. And be happy for other people, you know? And that's that. Okay, so I finished the first one. Look at this. I love it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I have two more to go. I have the two more canvases right here. Um, but right now I'm gonna take a break because um, I have a few things to do. And then I'm gonna probably make some dinner later on. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all a little bit later. Hey, so I'm back and it's time to cook some dinner. So I got some potatoes here. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes, um, either green beans or broccoli, I'm not sure yet, with some salmon, some baked salmon, so. so first, I'm gonna fill up my water for the potatoes. Okay, so I got my top on my potatoes and I'm gonna let them boil because it's gonna take forever, probably about 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna come back and check on them. And cut my salmon. I cleaned it with vinegar and just sliced it three pieces. These angles be so crazy, so don't mind me. Okay, so now I'm gonna season my salmon. I use the cedar plank salmon seasoning from Costco, and I take Pam and spray it down first. Also, a really good seasoning for salmon is um, the red lobster seasoning. Oh my god, it's so good! But I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Maybe I should like order it online or something. But so I'm gonna take my Pam my canola oil spray spray it on the salmon then let me get a little closer to you guys and then i take the cedar salmon seasoning and put it right on top these are really thick pieces so put a lot Look how thick the pieces are. So I'm gonna put a lot. And then just rub it in. All right, so this is how the salmon looks, all seasoned up. I'm about to put it on the pan. Check on the potatoes. Yeah, it's ready to be on um, messed up. Turn this heat off. I'm gonna just let the potatoes sit for like another second while I put this salmon onto the grill. Again, take my pan spray. I think the pan is hot enough, so I'm gonna just put the salmon right on there. Okay, while 
all the potatoes are still steaming hot. I'm gonna pour them into a bowl. I'm gonna put a stick. I'm gonna start out with one stick of butter. And let's see if I need more. They give like half sticks. So I'm gonna do obviously two halves to make a whole. So one stick. Garlic powder. Then I get my potato masher and mash it all together. Um, loaded potatoes, so I'm gonna put the bacon in the air fryer. Alright, so while the bacon is cooking, I'm going to take my green beans. Um, these green beans from Costco, washed and ready to use, and they're microwavable. I'm not making a whole bag obviously I put it into a bowl and I'm using my Pam again I'm gonna coat the green beans put a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic powder all right so I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about four minutes since it's a big amount and I'm gonna put this over it so it can like steam. All right, so I just plated my food. I'm gonna add cheddar jack cheese to the potatoes. And then I'm gonna add bacon to the top. Some yum yum sauce, so I plated my food. Yum sauce. <laughs> I don't know what type of design that is, but there we go. All right, time for a taste test. Let's see with the salmon. Mmm, with the yum yum sauce. See the mashed potato. Really good. And the green bean. Oh yeah. Put some lemon. All right, so my Amazon package just came in. I ordered a light for my to put onto my phone because like some spots I'm in is like really dark and it's really hard to vlog like that. Like earlier on, y'all saw like I was at the restaurant. I had the lamp behind me like trying to like nah. So let's see. Okay, vlog kit. Okay, so of course you have to assemble it. But this is the light that I ordered to go onto my phone. So the so when it's dark or whatever, and I'm vlogging because I vlog on my phone, right? So when it's dark, look at that. Without the light, with the light. So I think it'll be good. We'll we'll see in the next vlog, I guess. All right, good night. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Oh,